Well, hello there, Aquarius, and welcome to your channel, Intuitive Forecast, from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading as we expand on the energies of end of September, beginning of October 2021. Because it is a general reading, take what resonates and leave the rest for everyone else. If it does resonate with you, if you want me to resonate with your energy, claim the reading or tell me where you're watching from. I always get it so excited to hear about that. Then throw a comment below the video. Just going to let Spirit throw out a couple of cards here, the foundational cards, and then we'll get started. Okay, let's do that. All righty. Wowzer. Excellent. Right there. That's all I have to say. All right. So, um, oh, hey, by the way, thanks again for your likes and your subscribe to support the channel. I really appreciate that. So thanks for clicking that little button. Let's get started here, shall we? All right. So we've got the five of fire, and this is a time... You were, were right at the beginning, in the beginning of the Mercury retrograde and getting into it, the end of September, beginning of October. And this is about, you know, exploring new ideas. You know, some of them maybe actually even seem far fetched. Um, what seems crazy today may be proven as brilliant tomorrow. You know, and, and so it's like, you know, you become the child willing to stretch your imagination when playing with, um, you know, when you're playing with somebody out in the garden, you know, in the sandbox or something, you know, you're open to new people, new ideas, and, you know, you might be intrigued by what you consider novel or unfamiliar. Really great card for you, you know, as you're taking that leap of faith and moving forward. Then you've got the King of Air. The King of Air is about working smarter and not harder. You know, a lot of you have been churning and churning and churning and spinning your wheels over and over and over again. It doesn't seem like you're getting anywhere. Well, you're going to have the Mercury retrograde to rethink and restructure the way that you make money, the way that you're doing business. Maybe some of you are self-employed and you're, you're working on ideas to make your life and your work life easier. And if you do that, it looks like you're going to be bringing in the cash. You know, the 10 of earth is about affluence, about money. It's about abundance. It's about financial security, wealth, and knowledge. So it's really the full gamut here. I have a feeling this, um, this reading is really about you figuring out a way to get going in a business, something that's going to, you're going to be happy with and passionate with. And, um, that you can really build a solid foundation that's going to last you uh, and give you that security that you're really, really seeking, you know. So a lot of you, that that, that comes with self-employment. And then, of course, what do you have? You have the Empress and you've got the Knight. All about financial money. All about money. All right, Spirit, what else do we got? Anything they got to let go of in order to do that? Any time now. Any time now. Make a liar out of me. Come on, spirit. Let's go. A couple of cards. Yep. Yep. Okay, fine. Be like that. I'm going to leave those here. Too many. Okay. All right. Well, you've certainly been staying in on your own lately. You know, maybe you've been inside. I mean, a lot of us with the pandemic have been inside, but you have been kind of isolating yourself a little bit more than most. And with the Mercury retrograde, you're being asked to take a step back and to restructure and to take a rest and recuperate. Maybe some of you are recuperating from an illness. Um, you're not at 100% maybe in your emotional state right now. Uh, maybe you're worried about money and, and business. Um, so 
rest, recuperate, release, restructure. And that's going to help you move forward. I also see you connecting to, you know, we were talking about what's unfamiliar, that whole mystery behind, and connecting to really that energetic self and understanding that negative Nancy energy will bring you a negative result. You know, that's Earth A energy, the 60 or 70 emotions associated with that. Whereas positive Patty energy, peace, love, joy, bliss, em enthusiasm, passion, charity. You know when you're in that state, it feels delicious. And when you can find that state in the littlest things, like maybe it's a little sip of coffee. Ah, it's that ah. That ah is of creation and if you can get yourself in that state boy you really got opening yourself up to opportunity something that you can sink your teeth into in an entrepreneurial sense that will provide you with roots foundation solid foundation that will bring you the security that you're looking for financially and you got the empress the empress is all about abundance it's about um living the dream Maybe living in the dream home, the dream relationship, and certainly the dream job and entrepreneurial and the cash, the moolah. Okay. And you got the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles is about financial security, financial upticks. So you certainly have all that in your in these cards if you take that time to let go of the negative. Let go of that woe is me, um, nothing seems to go right, versus, okay, for every single time I have to take a step back, I know I'm going to go two steps forward, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, slow and steady wins the race kind of thing, versus, you know, this, what I don't have, versus the glass is overflowing or the glass is half full. All right, it's a short reading for you guys, uh, but Spirit's telling me that's all we got. So you have a delicious end of September, beginning of October, and we'll see you soon. Take care.